birth of the sun. Our sun may in fact have been born out of most violent event in the cosmos. As our nebula began to collapse under its own gravity and spin faster, a dense clump of matter formed in the center. At first its heat was due to friction, but when the clump reached 18 million degrees Fahrenheit, nuclear fusion kicked in. Four and a half billion years ago, our star was born. How does the sun work? The sun is one of the most important, essential to life. It gives us warmth and light to survive. The sun creates energy with nuclear fusion. It's like a large hydrogen bomb in the center of our solar system. Two hydrogen atoms will smash into each other and create a helium atom. When two atoms fused, they also create energy at the core of the sun. Some of this energy will get to the earth as heat and light. Some of this energy will also get to earth as solar winds, which creates beautiful auroras near the poles. What will happen when the sun dies? Sun will continue this process for another 5 billion years. But what will happen when the sun runs out of fuel? Once the hydrogen runs out, the core of the sun will start to collapse on itself, which will ratchet up the heat on the remaining hydrogen and cause the sun to expand into a red giant. This means that it will swell until it nearly reaches the orbit of Mars. The other three inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, will be completely engulfed in the star and disintegrated. After this expansion stage reaches its peak, the outer layers of the solar atmosphere will gradually be shed to form a planetary nebula and the star itself will collapse into a white dwarf, which is the helium powder star. So the sun is a white dwarf. The three of the four inner planets are gone. The question is, how the solar system will look then? Think.